Welcome biologists to this session where we're going to be looking at how to use a graticule in the light microscope. This is notoriously quite a difficult task for students to grasp and it does involve quite a bit of practice. So I'm going to just show you one example in this video and then I do advise you go and practice some different examples and different exam questions. So in microscopy, we use small units because centimetres and millimetres are just far too big for microscopy. So you need to be familiar with these new units of micrometres and nanometers. So a micrometre is a thousandth of a millimetre and a nanometer is a thousandth of a micrometer. You do need to be able to convert between these different units. So again, I do ad advise that you practice that technique. So using a graticule, the reason why we use an eyepiece graticule, um, which is found in the eyepiece, it's a little plastic cut out the little ruler, if you like a little ruler inside the eyepiece, which when you look down at the specimen, it appears that the specimen has a ruler across it. And what this allows you to do is measure, in this case, the width of the cell. Now, uh, we also need to use, once we've counted how many uh, eyepiece lines my specimen is, we also need to use a stage micrometer. Um, so we take the specimen off, we put the stage micrometer on, and this allows us to calibrate the eyepiece graticule so that we know exactly how much each one of these little pieces on my eyepiece graticule actually is. So I'm going to show you an example of how that works in a minute. So the first thing that we need to do is look at the eyepiece graticule um, and our specimen using the eyepiece graticule. So here it is. Here's an image. And as you can see in this particular image, if I look between these two red lines here, the width of that particular cell that I'm looking at there is 20 eyepieces. Now, as in this example and with all exam questions you do with this, I highly advise that you then calibrate it to find out what one eyepiece is. So this is what we're going to do now. So I know that my specimen is 20 eyepieces long and I'm now going to calibrate my eyepiece so I know how much each one of those tiny eyepieces is. So here I have um, my eyepiece graticule and my stage micrometer. You need to make sure that the eyepiece graticule, so this is the one that is in the eyepiece, the stage micrometer, this is the slide that you've put onto your stage. You've taken the specimen slide off, you put your stage micrometer on. And what you're doing here is you focus your microscope under the same magnification which you looked at your specimen with. And you have made sure that you have lined up at some point. It doesn't have to be zero to zero. It's just any point really on your eyepiece or your stage micrometer that, that lines up where you've got like lines crossing over. So here you can see that I've got 35 eyepieces between these two lines and I've got um, I know that those 35 eyepiece lines is equal to one millimeter. So if I know that 35 eyepiece is equal to one millimeter, I then therefore know that one eyepiece is equal to 0 0.0285 millimeters. As I mentioned before, we rarely work with millimeters when we're talking about microscopes. So when we convert this into micrometers by times in by a thousand, that gives me 28.5 micrometers per eyepiece. Now I, as I measured before, my measurement for my width of that cell was 20 eyepieces. And if I know that each of those little eyepieces is worth 28.5 micrometers, I can times that by 20 to get the total width of that particular cell. So whenever you get an exam question here to do with graticules, you always need to find out what one eyepiece is worth and then times that up by the number of eyepieces that you have. Guys, good luck with your exams. Remember to always try the maths questions because you can get marks for picking up. You can pick up marks in um, your workings out. So please remember to do that. And also it's really, really worth checking what units they want it in. So sometimes they might put that in the question. Sometimes they might put that at the end of the answer line. So it's well worth checking those two places to make sure that you put them in the correct units. And also just double check if it asks you for a cer certain decimal places. Guys, good luck with your exams and remember always show you working out with questions like this.